All right, everyone, now we have to talk about Jordan Peterson. Uh, they want to re-educate him up there in Canada and Ottawa because he went on a podcast and had opinions that were unorthodox. I don't know exactly what the podcast pertained to and what he said that pissed off his fellow professors there in their ivory tower um, because for some reason he didn't link the actual podcast episode. Maybe he's not allowed to or something. I mean, it could be a legal case pending, so you know we'll have to forgive him for that. Uh, I oppose this, uh, and, and the funniest part is they literally want him to buy the bullet with which they execute him by forcing him to actually pay to go to coaching, which is to say re-education. It's effectively a struggle session. Uh, your, your fellow academics are very concerned because you had a view that's outside of their uh, orthodoxy, and so they want you to go to the struggle session so that you can come out and apologize and, and repeatedly admit that you did wrong. Um, you know, it's, it, they do this quite literally in China and in North Korea and Venezuela and places like that. So naturally, they're trying to bring the basic premise to Canada because Canada is part of the Soviet world at this point. Unfortunately, the West is becoming more like what it once fought. Wrote a little booklet on that basic premise once uh, years ago pretty good. I should probably release another edition, an updated edition for what we've seen over the subsequent more than half a decade because things have really gone off the fucking rails. If you look at it, they don't really know what they have a problem with. And that's probably not the point, um, to be clear. This is basically the academic version of a housing authority. Doesn't matter. Somebody has a problem with you. Hell, you may not even know who specifically has a problem or what the problem is. But you have to go and get coaching for a couple of weeks and pay for it yourself because you done goofed. The whole point is to be as arbitrary and as opaque as possible so that they can always nail you. This is the way that the, the rules tend to work. If he were a beloved leftist professor, he could come out there and start saying the N-word up on stage. He'd get away with it by saying it's a modern art performance. I was trying to cast aspersion and satire on the typical unwashed mass of white rube right-wingers in Canada. And so I felt it necessary. To, I realized that it could be offensive, but remember, it wasn't really me saying it. It was the rubes doing that the suspenders wears with the MAGA hats or the, the trucker convoyists. Oh, okay, professor, that sounds good. Jordan Peterson can come out and he can say, well, you know, I prefer, you know, Tutti Frutti over other flavors of gum. They're still going to try to crucify him. They've been doing this shit for years. By the way, even if he were to lose his fucking position there and say, you know what, to hell with this, fuck you, and just leave, he'd still be a multi-millionaire. Apparently he can eat high-quality steak every day, at least if you listen to Jordan Peterson and his daughter, this is what they do. I hazard a guess there's some poutine in their diet at the very least, some fucking Tim Hortons or something like that. I don't think that it's all steak and steak uh, off products, but we'll, we'll get past that for a moment. I'd like to point out, I've watched Jordan Peterson quite a bit. I don't agree with all of his views. But that being said, I don't want him to have to go to a struggle session because he doesn't agree with me on everything because that's authoritarian horseshit. That's the housing authority Soviet mentality. By the way, housing authorities are basically a relic of the Soviet Union. Just so that we're aware, uh, it'll get cast off as being race-based. This happens in Canada, too, uh, by leftoids. But I, actually, it's closer to the authoritarian mentality of the commie blockers <laughs> more than anything else. Uh, we don't want your kind around here. But we're progressive in saying so. It's very interesting how the hypocrisy and the irony really uh, goes right over their heads. Uh, so they want to re-educate him, and they want him to pay for the re-education. I have a feeling, like, let me just do some wild guessing, because, again, he didn't post the podcast. It's probably something related to the euthanasia program up in Canada. I think that he has a problem with the concept of these same uh, people in psychotherapies openly suggesting that their clients off themselves. Apparently, many thousands of people have opted to do so, including, I think, minors at this point, which is, you know, it's rather drastic now, isn't it? Well, do you have seasonal affective disorder? Well, just fucking off yourself. It's legal now, and we can help you do it, too. We're all Dr. Kevorkian today. I remember back, like, like when I was a kid, there was still a major public debate over the very existence of euthanasia programs. More recently, it was like, I think here in the Netherlands, uh, assisted suicide is legal, but they don't encourage people to get it. They say, under certain circumstances, you've got a, a chronic painful illness, you're not going to recover, we're going to let you die with dignity, effectively. Some U.S. states have followed through. But now you've got a country in which people are openly promoted to do so. For conditions that are absolutely solvable, like, like okay, you, you need a hip transplant, but 
you're on a waiting list. Uh, why don't you just, uh, why don't you, d d fuck waiting, why don't you just kill yourself? That seems to be the Canadian medical system at this point. It's, uh, it's slightly concerning because what happens in Canada tends to drip down the west coast of the United States like a piss stain. So pretty soon California will probably be doing it too. Then they'll call it racist. They'll, they'll say that it needs, that they need to do more outreach to the white community to get more of them to euthanize themselves. It is coming. Just to be clear, in the next 10 years, that's an official Sticks prediction. So they want him to re-educate himself. Or it could be his dietary choices. How dare you promote the eating of red meat? Don't you know that that's bad for climate change, Jordan? <laughs> it could be anything. Really, though, it doesn't matter. They don't even have to acknowledge what it is. They just say, look, your fellow uh, psychologists have a big problem with you and your appearances. And, and, and I don't even think he was appearing in a specifically professional capacity. So it's the equivalent of, let's say, let's say you, you've got a job, and then after the job, uh, you go to the bar, uh, and then you get tipsy and go home. You, someone records you chuckling away, doing shitty karaoke. Well, a few too many drinks in you, and you did karaoke. They get that, and they put it on the internet. It goes viral. And then your workplace finds out about it and decides to can you, even though drinking is legal. You're above 21 or, or 18 in the civilized world. Uh, you're allowed to drink. Um, you're allowed to do karaoke. You didn't commit any crime or anything like that. They don't have footage of you peeling out of the parking lot, swerving through uh, the stop signs or anything like that. It's just, you know, you had a few drinks, made the poor decision to sing Iron Maiden songs for an hour, and then you went home and passed out. Uh, and then you get shit canned for it, or you get sensitivity training, which is also what they refer to this coaching as. Sensitivity training is basically other people's sensitivities were fucked by you. You, you offended people who, in some cases, are effectively paid to be offended. How many of these individuals have a, like a sub-degree in women's studies or something like that? <laughs> Probably a lot of them, because they're throwaways. They don't like to admit to that fact, but it's the fact anyway. They want him to be as brain-dead and as controlled as they are. They feel in poor company when there's somebody there that gets more attention than they do by actually having an original thought once in a while. That's what this is about. It's a, it's a bunch of, it's a stink up by uh, lesser minds. So I wish Jordan Peterson well. Again, uh, as someone who's not necessarily a super fan of everything that he makes, he shouldn't have to go through a goddamn Soviet re-education system in order to, uh, you know, ha have, a, have a license. He's got to have a license in order to have an opinion. That's about all. Peace out.